I would say it's a very experimental, avant-garde, <laughs> East Philip Berlin Glass. in the early 30s. <laughs> I certainly wouldn't call it that... house music in a desperate so attempt th to get down with the kids. <laughs> 1930s East, East German is actually a genre of music. I'm um, saying... You give me a decade and a country. Yeah, in fact, <laughs> you've also given a country that didn't exist in the decade you've given. <laughs> well spotted. Well spotted. But you notice that Lee Both didn't spot the it. Day from the <laughs> I think it has to be a lie. What about you, though, David? What I think, what I always think, is it could be either. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> because, of course, it sounds unlikely, but at the same time, that's exactly the kind of true thing they would pick. Yes. If, he, if he just said, at Christmas, we would have mince pies. Yes. Then you go, well, that sounds true. Yes, true. What a merry show that would be. <laughs> no, they've got to pick something that's either a lie or a true thing that might as well be a lie because it's so unlikely. <laughs> And it's finding that distinction <laughs> that apparently is the point of this section of my life. <laughs> now, what was it like? Costa Rica? Um, because it's not in Spain, there's lots of different insects and scorpions that we don't ha have in Europe mm. that we've banished. And they've all gone... <laughs> they've all gone to Costa Rica. What insects do you yes. remember? Tarantulas. They're not insects, they're arachnids. So. All right, David. Uh, OK. Just, well, oh, oh, let's be factually inaccurate, shall we? Because <laughs> that never causes any problems okay. as oh. you enter the ninth hour of your flight. <laughs> Spiders are not insects. Costa Rica is not in Spain. OK. This is I'm why education I'm, I'm... is so important. <laughs> Sarah did go on holiday to Costa Rica because she thought it was in Spain. Oh, that's that's disappointing for us at this stage, but the good news is a third of their team is an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there was a very loud noise. Your, your neck breaking made a noise. <laughs> yes. Why wouldn't a neck breaking make a lot well, of I, noise? That's a good point. Wouldn't you scream anyway? I mean... But the noise would precede the scream. But on the way down, on the way to hitting your neck, presumably you'd be shouting out something like, Ah! No, because actually there's sometimes a delay before the pain actually arrives. Yeah, but fact? you still might there still might be alarm as yes. you see the chances of you saving yourself from well, a neck break. It doesn't it's look... like people in, Everything a, in an aeroplane every... that's crashing, they're probably screaming, and you don't go, well, you're yeah, fine but... at the yes. moment. Yes. <laughs> how, how do you spell it? Uh, G A. G A. Yeah, right, give me a minute. R G. G A R G. A L. G A R A L. G A R G A L. I've got G A. What? Would you? Do... Let me say it. I've got G A R. Okay. And then... right. Oh my God! It's like trying to get my dad to write an email. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like to? You could imagine yeah. David is the tortoise, if you like. Okay. He could just sit there and look at you. <laughs> Derek. I'm the tortoise. Yes, you. Okay. Did... But he was. He was a bit happier. It was his birthday. <laughs> Happy birthday to you, Derek. <laughs> Happy birthday <laughs> to you. <laughs> Come on, Derek. <laughs> yeah, it, was, it was a lot like that. It was a lot like that. Sorry, have you forgot the words? No. <laughs> This substitute for Derek is really not appreciating what I'm doing, and I don't. I, don't like <laughs> I take acting very seriously, <laughs> and I'm immersing myself in the role of a 60-year-old tortoise. <laughs> and I believe this is how the tortoise will have behaved. But I'm I'm You're there. Telling me the tortoise was jumping up and wagging its tail. <laughs> and I'm sorry, I think we've left the fans of credibility. <laughs> So when Andrew came, how did he know that that little bit of key had broken off in the lock? Did you tell him? Well, yes. Yeah, did he I do thought it? I'd give him a clue. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, so, oh, I'll tell you what, I'll let you work this out for yourself. <laughs> I'm not going to show the broken off end of key. <laughs> you try and get in. <laughs> how did he, how did he exactly? Now you try and get in your own van. <laughs> to make Andrew seem like a failure. <laughs> what are you? You can gain admittance nowhere. 
how does he get him out of the van? Talk uh, us through the process. I, I, know he's a, I know he's a locksmith, but roughly what did he do? I don't know. Is even he roughly. Watch? No, I just stayed sitting on the bench by my front door. You got a looking bench by your front door. Bench. Bench. bench by your front door. Is that where you make people wait? <laughs> She's by the front door. Oh. I've wasted this brilliant nugget just mentioning in passing. This should have been on a card. I have a bench by my front door. <laughs> wow! A bench a by bench your front door. door. A front door and, and a door. bench in the same universe next to each other. I've never seen a bench by your front door. What's, what's I try? A, this it, is annoying me because I've been to your house and there was definitely not a bench. Are you getting this bench out just for special people? <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes I've knocked on your door and you've gone, sit on the floor and wait! <laughs> you have been to my house and there was a bench by the front door, uh, you just didn't notice well, it. Well, I'll tell you, after I went, I left and there isn't one now. Yeah. <laughs> I can't believe that a team of people, one of whom does his own dentistry <laughs> on the top of a kitchen island with a mirror attached to an Indian wind instrument, can't believe that someone would have a bench All next right. to a door. What is your work surface made from? Uh, uh, it's, well, at home. No, 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 in your shed. <laughs> <laughs> what is your kitchen work surface made from in it's your kitchen? It's a sort of. It, uh, it's. I don't really know. Okay. <laughs> Why did you have a sledgehammer in the kitchen? <laughs> well, it was. But the. Uh, ah. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't. Oh, ah. this, so this, it's not true. This, <laughs> this didn't happen. Oh, at okay. all. <laughs> Wow, we've broken quickly tonight, didn't we? <laughs> uh, this didn't happen at my house. Where did it happen? Uh -huh. At my parents' so house. So why were you trying brother. to describe your house when you were talking about the because workshop? Because you kept asking me about my own <laughs> workshop. <laughs> I'm, just, well, I'm just trying to be as helpful as possible. <laughs> OK, can you, can you tell us the colour of the kitchen surface in your parents' house? Brown. Brown. Was it brown? brown? <laughs> so no. It did just... it look like a tree, but flat? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what it's made of, but it's... Is it Formica? Might be. Might be Formica. Wooden Formica. Formica. <laughs> your parents have got wooden Formica tabletops. <laughs> Why so. don't you use your television money and treat them, you two? <laughs> <laughs> so, there's a walnut in your parents' house. Yeah, you, for whatever reason, maybe hunger, want to open it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There's a sledgehammer. Why is the sledgehammer in your mum and dad, apart from the fact that he knew you were coming round? <laughs> I, 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 I had to go and find the sledgehammer. That Where was, was it? It was in the garage. Right. Uh, that we couldn't find any nutcrackers. Well, your parents... We, say we, your parents were witnessing this. Y yes, I wasn't on my own in my parents' house, smashing away at my <laughs> hand like a maniac. <laughs> it seems to me that on the evolutionary oh. scale between nutcracker and sledgehammer, mm -hmm. there are some other things you might find <laughs> lying about the house. A I man wouldn't shoot. Well, and three shattered iPads later, I found the sledgehammer. <laughs> 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 who was there, by the way? In this, who was witnessing this? There were... Um, my parents were there, my brother, his wife, my wife... Peter Gabriel. <laughs> <laughs> David's not going to get that joke. Yeah, oh, sledgehammer! Yeah. Oh, yeah. Very good. <laughs> Sorry, I'll rephrase that. Rob and David aren't <laughs> going to get this joke. <laughs> I, I have no idea, but I, there wasn't anyone called Peter Gabriel. <laughs> <laughs> OK, now, we know that this story ends with you in accident and emergency. Yes, yes, yeah. yes. How did that happen? Well, I got the... I, I'd been... I'd cracked a few nuts with this sledgehammer, uh, and then maybe I got a bit cocky. Oh. And uh, and I, you know, because oh. and I left my thumb in the way. Oh and no! And it was it was carnage. Sorry, is it really <laughs> the thumb? Can we have a look? All right. No. When was this before we look? This Christmas just gone. Uh, it was this Christmas, yes. So it should look pretty bad, this thumb. Well, I mean, it was, well, well, what, was, what happened? Was it? You'll find it... it's there's absolutely no visible scar. <laughs> <laughs> Neither is there on that one. What a credit oh, yeah, to our National Health Service, yeah. ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Everyone was absolutely marvellous. It's weird. One might it... almost say miraculous. <laughs> Did they say any bones were broken in your thumb? They x-rayed it and, fortunately not, they said, in a few months, you won't be able to tell this as <laughs> <laughs> Of course. Of course. In a 
Yes, you will. Hey, hey, they, they were right. No. They were spot on. All right, what are you thinking, Lee? Has this been the truth? Has or been... has he made it up? There's, there's bits of it. But... Well, the bits that are true are that he's got thumbs. <laughs> <laughs> I believed everything until we looked at his thumbs. And there's nothing And there. then I was like, that man not only has not hit himself in the thumb with a sledgehammer, but I don't think he's picked up anything in weeks. <laughs> <laughs> The only thing that makes me doubt it, really, is the coincidence of the balls at the location and the balls in Ed's surname. <laughs> that's right. why you doubt it? That's why I doubt really? it. Really? Yes, because that's what no, but... makes it something that someone would have invented and written on a card to be read out <laughs> for a television programme. <laughs> you're the captain, but if yeah. your only quibble is the pun of balls and balls, then I think we should ignore that and move forward. I think it may be too late to ignore it. <laughs> <laughs> You know it's a ballad, don't you, Endless Love? It's a slow ballad. You see, I don't know anything about music, as you, as you know. I disapprove of it. <laughs> <laughs> but um, Endless Love I've heard of as a song, and I reckon if I heard it, I would recognise it. That hasn't happened yet. <laughs> uh, the postcode you require is S for Sugar, W for Wilson, H, <laughs> R for Robert, B for Bertie. That's a lot nearer Wimbledon than I expected. <laughs> SW. Well, I wasn't always right. <laughs> David, why don't you make an inquiry? OK. okay. Um, hello. Well, uh, hang on, you've got to ring her first. <laughs> <laughs> That's really good. The sooner this is privatised, the better. <laughs> <laughs> Hi there, hello. Hi. Oh, I, I wasn't expecting to speak to an American. No, I know. It's just, it's Excited, and we just I just came over here and I got myself a job. How can yes. I help y'all? Well, I would like... How y'all doing there? You have a nice day? <laughs> it's so hot here in London, I can't tell you. I'm sweating like a pig. <laughs> well, hang on, it's not one of those lines, is it? <laughs> yeah, it's real hot here. Yeah. I might just get out of these hot clothes. <laughs> I literally didn't say that. I said sweating like a pig. Yeah. In which case, at the other end, you'd hear, ah, uh, really? Oh, gosh, <laughs> well, I... Well, I, I, I I certainly wasn't expecting that. <laughs> <laughs> That's very disrespectful to your employers. They were paying me, like, 4 60 an hour, I think. Well, work more hours. <laughs> 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 work more hours, save up, you can go on a cruise. <laughs> <laughs> we, we called the police, so the police woman came round to our house, and she did the same thing, she went up the step ladder, looked on top of the cabinet and said, I think it's a grenade, better call Sarge. He walks in, does the same thing, up the step ladder, looks and goes, OK, think, think it might be a grenade. We're I'll in have our... to call the inspector. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> then, seven hours later, the Prime Minister comes <laughs> in. That's a nice barge, I thought. So you, I thought... you really craned over to get a good view of the barge. I did. I taking liked... your ice cream with you across I... the thick stone balustrade. <laughs> the bridge. I, I right need... over. Come with me, ice cream. <laughs> maybe, maybe you'd like to see as well. <laughs> just, Come just on, vanilla. Let's have a look. I didn't go the full. Um... Not 90 degrees. <laughs> I sort of did a 45. I sort of leaned over that. But as any man will tell you, or woman, you only have to lean what. That much, and your ice cream can go. <laughs> so, 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 Billy, can I can I move on to Billy? I think Joe has definitely done this with someone in her neighbourhood, but is it Billy? Whereas I don't know yeah. if it's him. Whereas Lee definitely hasn't dropped an ice cream <laughs> on a bar. <laughs> We know well, that. We know that. that, yeah. that that's a, an assumption. No, no, and, I mean, and I'm very happy to spend <laughs> up to 40 minutes of my life pointlessly <laughs> discussing. <laughs> <laughs> and that was just the tip of the iceberg. <laughs> Some slack. No, no. no. I would I say that anyone that. who can no. enjoy that joke about a lettuce would have to be a sociopath. <laughs> <laughs> How many houses away do you live? Uh, from him? F uh, um, uh, he's, uh, I think, next door but four. Next door but four. So <laughs> let's say five houses away. <laughs> <laughs> that's a very weird way to describe. <laughs> I've never heard four. anyone say. He's, he's... <laughs> He lives next door but four. It just somehow doesn't work. Next door but one is the limit to how much you can use. <laughs> <laughs> I just keep adding numbers up. I'm going for it. I'm going for it. 
<laughs> I'm going next door, but forty thousand. That's, that's where the queen lives. <laughs> I just don't think David, even though he's a really nice man, I just don't think he'd have the uh, patience. I'll have to pull you up on that. <laughs> Does anyone else would just be like, why don't we just go down the pub, mate? No, or, not David. Not David, not no. David. David's never ended a sentence with mate. Mate, OK, fine. <laughs> <laughs> so, fair enough. Except not when playing chess. <laughs> <laughs> That was quite yeah. middle class. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Fair enough, you've won, mate. <laughs> Where were you going from and to? I was going from a holiday home in uh, the West Country, in Cornwall. Your holiday home? Uh, no, I temporarily had legal access to the holiday home. <laughs> quite a common... I don't know what it, the name of it in contract law would be, but it's like when you go on holiday to a holiday home, it's not your holiday home, but you're allowed to be there for a bit if you give them money. It's called right. a rental. <laughs> rental? That's <what> I <laughs> And where did he find the egg? He had it in the car. He had an egg in the car. Oh, that's weird. I tell you what, he didn't just have one egg. He had, I think, I would estimate between three and six. <laughs> Anybody... Where did he keep these eggs? Yeah. In, the in an egg box. No, but where was the egg box? <laughs> was it in the boot? No, I think it was in a bag in the boot. A bag in the boot? Boot, bag, egg box, eggshell, <laughs> white yolk. You forgot an egg from <laughs> For a man like you, David, it seems socially awkward to be standing round yeah. the engine with a bit of tin foil and... But isn't that more reason of... that it happened? Any normal people like us would just go, you're all right, mate, and walk <laughs> yeah, off. Yeah. <laughs> he's still out. Well, I suppose I'd better forget the train and just have an egg Don't sandwich. forget the train. I'm <laughs> waiting. I've got to wait there an hour. Yeah, I'm not trying to sort of forge a new life with Ian at Bodmin Parkway car park. <laughs> Oh, yes. we've got four <laughs> eggs. That'll see us through the next day or two. <laughs> Did you work in conjunction with a proper chef? Of course, I was helped a little bit. Who? By whom? It's a friend of mine. Works at the Chinese restaurant. What's the name of this person? <laughs> you wouldn't know him. Well, give it a try. Steve. <laughs> <laughs> Steve Jenkins. <laughs> I've been going into the Chinese restaurant a lot recently. Mm. And I've been really sort of learning about it and savouring the dishes. And, and I keep saying, Steve, this is fantastic. What is this? And then he says something in Chinese, which I don't understand. And then I said... Steve Jenkins is Chinese. He was adopted uh, when he was a kid. By <laughs> taken to China. But he was an English baby, yeah. <laughs> This is a true story. They took, uh, they took Steve Jenkins. Um, they Did, adopted they, him. They adopted Even him. though they he was a baby, he was known as Steve. <laughs> he, then he was called Baby Steve. So this, this Chinese couple adopt <laughs> Baby Steve. Stephen. <laughs> he's, he's got his full name. He's got Steve they, they, they don't change his name. <laughs> but they couldn't change his name, couldn't they? Because to call him Yeah, because Steve you're, he's, <laughs> cl <laughs> well, he's clearly an English baby. <laughs> then he's going to grow up looking Western. Was he, was he the only Steve Jenkins <laughs> in his school? <laughs> David, what are you thinking? That it, was, it was very entertaining, but but was it? Well, I say very. It, <laughs> was it true? <laughs> no, no, it wasn't true. <laughs> <laughs> do you do you need a little time to discuss this with your team? No, no, I know. <laughs> <laughs> well, firstly, it, it wasn't true off the card to start with because there's no way Lee would bring out. That sort of book. Why? I've, I've met him. It's evident. <laughs> but why? <laughs> so, well, you don't he know then went on to me. make it. We don't know everything about that, me, that, David. That your collaborator in this book <laughs> is a man <laughs> called Steve Jenkins, <laughs> who was adopted as a baby <laughs> in this country, taken, taken back, back to China. <laughs> not for long. <laughs> no, for his whole childhood. No, no, no. no. He said they came back to Britain. Yeah, but when he was an adult. Or when he's yeah, an adult. Yeah. yeah. Otherwise, he'd have been able to speak English now, wouldn't he? How did you write a book with a man that only spoke Cantonese? Well, we just we had an interpreter, a Chinese fella called Brian Smith. <laughs> I think you're incredible, man. <laughs> Incre right away. Incredible, as in not credible. <laughs> Can you remember the name of any of the songs? Uh, no, I believe. Wow! So. But wait, <laughs> wait. Um, I could guess a lot of the songs because they weren't. I don't think she'd written the songs. Mm. We were no. talking they about were it earlier. Well, you on... said your favourite was "I Dreamed a Dream." Mm. Um, can, you, can you just give us a rendition of that? Can you, can you hum that or sing that or something? How my yes, dream so, dream. Yes. Uh, I don't think you can because we'd have to pay then, so it'd be inappropriate. So sorry, you should, you he's, a, he's very experienced. So in sorry. TV. Yeah. That's well, annoying. I'll tell you what, David. I, I will tell you. From the best, Tony Verrill. Yeah. 
<laughs> David, I will tell you the names of yeah. some of Susan's album releases, or escapes more than releases. <laughs> Tell me if any of them ring a bell, OK? OK. The Gift. Um, I don't know. <laughs> a Wonderful World. I reckon that might have been on there. No, this is the album <laughs> title. I'm with Eddie the Hat, who's a mate of mine. E Eddie the Hat. Eddie the Hat. Is, it, is that a nickname or is he a hat? No, he's... Have you, <laughs> have you befriended a hat? He's, uh, no, he's Eddie the Hat because he's a nickname we have because... Um, I don't care. Weirdly. <laughs> and what were the other two? Papillon, Papillon taking of Pelham 123. The taking of Pelham 123, <laughs> yes. the sound of the music and towering inferno. I've not seen the sound of the music. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> That sounds less positive yeah. about the music. <laughs> the, the sound of the music is keeping everyone awake. <laughs> <laughs> OK, so, uh, David's team. Kerry, what are you thinking? I, I, I think it's got to be a lie, hasn't it? Richard has a very honest face, doesn't he? You see, well, we can, it's interesting about Richard, because that clothing he's wearing, yeah. that only two sorts of people wear that, vicars and confidence tricksters. <laughs> <laughs> We don't know which one he is yet. Yeah. You think there's a difference? <laughs> <laughs> what are you thinking, Harry? <laughs> Satire. I'm Satire. Satire. <laughs> did you feel, as you were eating the soup, a bit of spinning coming on? I did. I always do towards the end of a... Of a, of a particularly... Um, do you, after breakfast, do you spin with your every, cup of coffee? Every opportunity to keep my... But to keep... Stop my hands feeling busy. It was something the therapist told me to do. I think it's to keep your hands busy is the expression, <laughs> not stop my hands feeling busy. <laughs> <laughs> Those are the words of a maniac. <laughs> it keeps my hands calm because I've always right. wanted to do things okay. with my hands. Well, like at the moment, I want to punch David in the face. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I remember I walked to the back of the shop mm. in the cowboy boots, restraining an urge to walk like John Wayne. <laughs> and when I came back towards the shoe area, I noticed that my shoes so weren't I'm setting there. the scene before this. You're, you're at home. You're thinking, it's about time I got myself some cowboy boots. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not willing to commit to a new pair in case I go off the idea. <laughs> Just on the very slightest off chance, yeah. they don't turn out to suit me yeah. and my personality. <laughs> Cowboy boots, I'll be honest with you, don't particularly appeal to me aesthetically. Wow, that surprises I don't think me. they go with what I like to call my style. Oh. <laughs> well, how would you describe that style, David? I, I don't... I think my style is indescribable. Oh, no, I could describe it. <laughs> I think it's best left undescribed. OK. Uh, I did notice the, the, the array of shoes, and I tend to take my shoes off at home and maybe wear slippers or socks. I don't want this to get too sexy. <laughs> So, I and left. I need my inhaler. <laughs> <laughs> so, what I vaguely was on the lookout for was a pair of everyday, easy to put on, non lacing shoes that I could keep by the back door in case I needed to pop into the garden for some gardening. <laughs> but you said you'd taken some of your shoes to the charity shop. I was. I was wearing shoes. <laughs> so what, you decided to take them off in the shop and hand Sorry, them to her? When, when, you, when you go shoe shopping, do you go barefoot? When I take shoes... you seriously. No, no. When I take shoes... me waiting. When I... I mean them. <laughs> Leather or suede? Leather. And with a sort of bit of... Um, geez, I don't know the technical shoe terms, but sort of a, like a bit of... Uh, Crenellation, sort of flapping on them. <laughs> um, I'm just going to have to use the terminology of the medieval castle. It's the only way I'm, <laughs> I'm describing it. Anyway, they look. So like... you saw them. You saw them. Yeah, I saw them. Okay. So I thought, uh, you know, I'll try them on. Yeah. But they were slightly harder to get on than ah. I imagined. People in the shop, I imagine, were going, "Why is David Mitchell trying yeah. on cowboy <laughs> boots?" <laughs> the shop wasn't as packed as you're imagining. <laughs> <laughs> I thought myself to be the only customer there. Right. I was soon disabused of that notion. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you rub a dirty rubber against a clean piece of paper, it sort of cleans itself. No, what the you're dirt. describing is the action of cleaning a rubber. Rubber? Yeah. yeah. Wait, that is how you clean no, a rubber. You That's not the same that. as no, it what? cleans itself. That's like saying, <laughs> why do you need to clean a car? You just wipe it all over and it cleans itself. <laughs> 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 Ten years. Ten years. What, what is your... Ten years of this kind of what? bullying. <laughs> <laughs> it was something like you would organise your pencil case, but I can't remember. Organise your... <laughs> 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 I'm picturing Alex 
with a little suit and a briefcase. <laughs> Hello, guys, how are you doing? It's me again, it's Dennis. I'm here to uh, clean your rubbers or organise your rubbers. <laughs> and you're going like, join the corner and going, oh, hang on, girls, I was chatting you up, but I want to sort out my pencil case. Just like, <laughs> tell me some that's, more well, That's exactly where the economy's going, isn't it? Yeah. Nobody makes things anymore. <laughs> we just provide pointless services. <laughs> I'm a party planner. I'm a pencil case organiser. I shout on panel shows. We used to make steel. <laughs> <laughs> It's an unsuitable costume for Halloween, isn't it? Yeah. I thought you dressed as witches and things. Well, you Halloween. used to be that way, but then the Americans made us do it where we dress as like oh, no. Scooby Doo. We and didn't things. used to have Halloween. I, no, exactly. We, oh, no. What we used to do is celebrate I the burning know. of a Catholic. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> You'd already been going around the room saying red or white? <laughs> red or white? And now it's your time to bring the champagne. What happens next? What happened was we were at the party, yeah. we were having a jolly good time, and it came a moment when the champagne was poured. Mm. OK? As, as happens in those kind of parties. Mm. Yeah. Isn't that right, David? I've, I've had champagne in my <laughs> life. <laughs> Where did this tutoring take place? Uh, uh, not in the snooker club, because obviously for security reasons. Um... OK, yeah, I'll ask that again. Where didn't it take place? <laughs> And you can just say, no you comment, know, no comment, club, no comment, castle, no comment. or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> I asked him what was his favourite food, uh, and and he said cheese sandwich. That's, um, his, the, that's the son of the Sultan of Brunei's <laughs> favourite food <laughs> is a cheese sandwich. I, well, it's because it's probably, probably tires of all the Cadillac. unicorn liver pate. And the... <laughs> <laughs> when you say trapped in your sleeping bag. I'm picturing a sleeping bag is something you can just sort of... If it, if it doesn't unzip, you just crawl mm -hmm. out the big end at the end. The head <laughs> yeah. end. What's it called? The hole? The, like end. the, the orifice. The orifice. <laughs> <laughs> I, call, I just call it the orifice of rest. Yes. <laughs> it, is it truth or a lie? You don't you do anything with that. I am in charge of this. <laughs> press the button. You do it, that's press it. You don't win anything. Jordan. Don't listen to him. Press the button. Oh. Is it truth or a lie? Don't you dare. <laughs> Lee. Lee, zip it. <laughs> All the way round or just halfway? <laughs> what are you saying, Lee? It is... Wait, Not yet, no, he won't. He'll go berserk. I'm it's the only, His only role is to say when to press the button. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I do. That's what I do. I uh, think it's true. You think it's true? I think it's true. Then we go true. You're going to say true. Jordan, was it the truth or was it a lie? You can is press that... it now. <laughs> <laughs> You don't tell him <laughs> when to press it. Oh, it's all right. It's, it's all right. No, no, that's not I, how it works. Rob, I wasn't telling him. I wasn't telling him. Right. Fine. It's fine. You wait. I'm going back. I'm, I'm going to tell you again. That's <laughs> a lie. Sorry. What? And is it just you on your own? Uh, no. Please tell me it wasn't just you on your own. No, no. In a field with a horse taking a picture <laughs> on a selfie stick. Make an effort, look as if you're enjoying it. No. <laughs> <laughs> there were three other people there. Was it for all four of you to be in the photograph with the horse? Uh, no, no, we weren't trying to get the horse in the picture. Oh, the horse wasn't part of the picture. No, no, we'd asked the horse to take the picture. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. How did the horse get involved in the story then? This, this might yeah. be a help. Look, look what I've got. This is one of these selfie sticks that are so popular. If I were yeah. to go and hand this to you, David, yes. yeah. why yeah. don't you come out and imagine okay. you're in the countryside yes, yeah. <coughs> and you could... Right. Um... And, Rob, yeah. with that face, you can play the horse. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's not just the face that resembles... <laughs> Touch it now. <laughs> All right, here we go. So I'm a horse. Here I am. There we are, taking the. <laughs> Ready to take the. We're all in nicely in position here yeah. for the photo with the hill. Skittish horse. Skittish horse. I'm trying to take the thing. <laughs> I, I didn't. Can I just check, Rob? Are you a meerkat trying to sell carriage? <laughs> I'm a horse. I've, I've reared up onto my hind legs. <laughs> it didn't rear up. It just sort of danced about a bit. You worry about playing a repressed middle-aged Englishman, <laughs> and I 
will worry about playing a horse. OK. So we're ready, we're taking the picture. I can't get the button to work. Fiddle, 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 fiddle. I accidentally drop it like that. Skittish horse. Oh, I can't hold it, I got hooves. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then it was it broken. Was a bit more bent than that. Oh. There we go. And then. Oh dear. <laughs> and then I did I get in the picture as well? Yeah. <laughs> and that was it. What do we think? I mean. It really reminded me why I don't go to the theatre. <laughs> It is, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> it's reminding a lot of other people why they don't watch much television. <laughs> I saw a mouse where there on the stair, where on the stair, right there, a little mouse with clogs on. Well, I declare, going clip, clip, and clop on the stair. Oh, yeah. This mouse, he got lonesome, he took him a wife. A windmill with mice in it's hardly surprising. Ch